And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With high temperatures this afternoon, ranging from the mid-40s to the lower 50s, it was the warmest day of the week so far. But even with the warmer weather, temperatures were still below normal. In fact, today was the sixth straight day with below normal high temperatures. Now, as we head through the next seven days, we're going to see kind of a mixed bag of above and below normal high temperatures. It'll be above before cold fronts move through. It'll be below after cold fronts move through, and we'll have several weak cold fronts moving through over the next week or so. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that range from the upper 30s in Kiwani to the lower 50s in Wapaka. Most spots are currently in the upper 40s. We had a decent amount of sunshine throughout the morning, and then the clouds bubbled up once again during the afternoon. Right now, we are looking at mostly cloudy skies across the area. And as you take a look at Storm Shield radar, you can see that there are some radar echoes being picked up. A lot of this is Virga. It is precipitation that is falling from the clouds, but it's not reaching the ground. Having said that, there could be a couple of stray sprinkles out there before the sun sets. Overall, high pressure is our main weather maker. We'll have clear skies tonight and lots of sunshine tomorrow morning before our next system moves in from the north and west. And that's a cold front that is currently moving into central and northern Montana. Now, between the high and the front, we had southwest winds today really warming temperatures up across Across the central and northern plains, we had mid-40s to lower 50s here in Wisconsin, but out across North and South Dakota, temperatures were in the mid to upper 50s, and then we had some 60s across central and northern Montana, and that's the warmer weather that's going to move in for tomorrow, and it's going to come in on some gusty southwest winds. Tomorrow, we're looking at winds potentially gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour as we move through the afternoon. Those southwest winds will warm things up pretty nicely, though. Look for upper 50s to lower 60s away from Lake Michigan. Closer to the lake, temperatures will be in the 40s to around 50 degrees. We'll see mostly sunny skies tomorrow morning, sun and clouds by the afternoon. And then as that cold front moves in, tomorrow evening we'll have a good chance for rain showers. The best chance for rain will be overnight. And then behind the cold front on Sunday, we'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine, maybe a shower across the north, and cooler readings with high temperatures back down into the upper 40s and lower 50s. So your forecast for tonight calls for clearing skies. Lows will be pretty close to freezing. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, windy and warmer. Highs will be in the upper 50s to lower 60s. It will be cooler by the lake, and then we'll have a chance for some showers, especially after sunset tomorrow evening. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 59. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Compassionate Home Health Care, and we did that today. I forecast 48. The actual high temperature was 49 degrees. On Sunday, behind that cold front, sunshine mixing with a few clouds, maybe a shower across the north that's going to be cool and breezy with highs near 50. We warm up again ahead of another cold front on Monday, upper 50s. Some showers are possible with that cold front on Monday. Then cooler behind it. Another warm-up for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll have a chance for a shower. That's ahead of a cold front that'll bring some cooler conditions and maybe some rain as we head into next Friday. So we had a cool work week, but Nina, the timing is just perfect for Saturday. Sunshine and much warmer temperatures. We need it. We deserve it. I'm so excited.